In this week's episode of Working With Apps, it's all about pages. Hello and welcome to this third episode of Working With Apps. My name is Carl Pauline and in today's episode I'm going to show you how I use Apple's Pages. Now I've been using Apple's Pages ever since it first came out. In fact actually I was using iWorks, I think it was called when it first came out as part of a suite. I actually also use Claris Works be back in the day so maybe some of you older viewers will remember Claris works but I've never ever really got into Microsoft Word I know Microsoft Word is a fantastic application and it will do many 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 things and I do have it on my computer for occasionally when I have to review some of my students uh, documents proofreading and so on but really my choice of w basic word processor is Apple's Pages simply because Apple have done a great job in allowing us to be able to use it to design things in a very very simple way now I'm sure you can do this in Word but I would have no idea how to do it in Word because I seem to have some kind of allergy to applications that are very feature rich now I know many of you out there probably love feature rich applications I hate them because I only have limited use for things like word processors, spreadsheets and so on. Uh, the biggest application I would use or professional application I would use is my presentation software and last week's episode I showed you how I use Keynote which by the way a lot of people have liked that uh, video that I did on Keynote and I should give you a, a heads up on this uh, through my company FES which is my communications company we are about to launch a beginner's guide to using Keynote and I will put details of that in the notes section below if it's gone live by the time this episode comes out. So this is uh, this course is all about setting up Keynote so if you haven't if you really want to learn more about Keynote then this course is going to be available. It's not through my website this is going through our company's uh, FanCorp English Solutions but I'll put a link below where you can get more details on that as and when it goes live so that's coming very soon it should come in the next week so maybe by the time this call this video goes out that course will be live so you'll be able to get yourself enrolled in that and learn more about the wonders of keynote anyway <laughs> I ramble on back to this episode so today I'm going to show you how I use pages I don't actually use pages on a daily basis but I certainly use it several times a week because I have some specific use cases for it which I'm going to show you how I do that today okay so let's get into pages and I'll show you how I use it right one of the first things I use when I'm using or well, one of the main things I use key, uh, pages for is actually for creating templates for documents that I use on a regular basis now one of the things that I send out to all my students are communication students is what I call a discussion document now the discussion document is usually on some form of um, some form of how do we say um, well discussion document that I picked up so here's one that I actually did this is my blog post from this week now the first thing I'm going to do is if this is the blog that I'm going to use to actually help because I like this one because it's actually separated into different parts so what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do from this I'm going to actually bring this in from the web page and you'll see that in Safari I get this what we call the reader view which is great so what I'm going to do is I would highlight actually I'm going to start off very simply we highlight the um, the <clears throat> the title and I'm going to move over to here and all I have to do now the problem I have here is if I type this if I copy and paste this directly into uh, my thing it's just into my pages it's going to copy this directly so what I would do is first of all I open up Ulysses now Ulysses is one of my tools for removing all the formatting that you get so I'm not going to use this in full page because we get in there so what I would do is I would just create a new a note in in here so we're just going to create new sheet and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to 
copy and paste my stuff in here. So we're going back over to my website here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all this text. I'm going to drag all this into my, well, I'm not going to drag it. I'm just going to copy into Ulysses. Now, the reason I do that is because Ulysses is going to remove the formatting for me. It's just a wonderful way of just removing the formatting. And I just put in the, um, the paragraph pages in here. Uh, let's just get rid of the, put the paragraph pages in like that. Okay. So now that we've got the formatting taken out, I can just copy that and I drag that into, well, I don't drag it, I just paste it into there. And what it does is it maintain, because I've set the template up, it keeps the formatting as I want it. So here now, all I have to do is, you'll notice that the text in here is not what it's going to be. So let's just get down to that one. Now I know there's about 400 words on each page, so I can just click on there and I can just do that. And as you can see, the text has actually changed. And what we've got is a different typeface. I use Meta Pro for all my company stuff. Uh, and I know that Apple now has, uh, Pages now has a linking box if I wished, but I don't generally use that because this is actually quite simple and straightforward. So that's probably gonna be too long to fit in there, but we'll see if we can get it in, not quite. But what I can do is just uh, drag down on here and I can just bring that in so that it all fits. And then I can go through. Now I know this is already set up for, um, and I just do the titles like this, just highlight the titles, medium, yeah, there we go. And I can do the same for the second page. And that's essentially how I use this on a regular basis. So I have all my templates set up and if I just click on here, you see, uh, let's go new and it will ask me. So I have my template set in here. And what I'll do now is I'll just show you my other one that I template that I use. This is one I use on a regular basis. Basically what I've done is I've created like a little chart in here. As you can see, this is a chart and it allows me to give uh, student feedback after every class, which again is just a really, really easy way for me just to bring it up. And one of the beauties of it is, I just type in the student name. Again, this is just a chart. So basically I've just added some charts in here and I use this now as a text box and I can just type in. Again, all the text is all set up in, I'll show you again over here in Meta Pro. So I don't have anything to change. I've got no messing around to do. It's to me, this is just a wonderful quick way of uh, creating template files that you can use, um, which just means that getting the content into a nice format is there and it's consistency. That's what I'm really looking for, which is why I love using pages. Now, I know some of you are now going to tell me, oh, you can do that in Windows, uh, in Word. I know you probably can, but as I said into the introduction, I have never ever used word on any long-term basis. So what happens when I get a word document? Now here's a document that I've received and as you can see it's already got some track changes in here. This is one I did a while ago. Um, you can see I've done errors and corrections in here already. So what I'm going to do now is show you what I actually do. So we can get rid of Ulysses now. Uh, I've got the original document file there. What I do is I open that up in pages. I just drag it onto pages. It will open up in pages for me. Now, it some, depends on how big the file is. And as you can see, all the corrections and errors are already in here. Um, so what I can do is view and it will show me comments and changes. Um, let's see, show next comment or change. So it should show me all that, and I can go in here and I can correct all these things that are in here. And like we've got this terrible spelling of standardization. So in within Windows, I within sorry, within pages, I can actually show all this. And it's got all the comments up here, and it will show me as I go through them, just like that. And that is wonderful. And the, the only problem I've got is normally. Oh, there we go. We've got, we've got. So I've got all the comments are in here and I can use it. And as I check these documents, I can send these out directly to my students. In um, I can export it back to Windows. So I can export to Word 
and I can send that back out to my students with all these changes absolutely uh, maintained. And that's one of the reasons because I just love the beauty of um, working in Windows, sorry, working in Windows, working in Pages, um, because it is just such a beautiful user interface. And as I say, I can I can do all sorts of things in here. I can highlight, so I uh, was highlighting there. So if I do, do that, and I can just highlight that, and it will put me a highlighter over it in red. I can change the colors, by the way. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, all these things are just wonderful. And as I say, you can now export that as a Word document and just send it out. Um, so this is one of the various ways that I use Pages. And I do love Pages um, simply because it is such a wonderful thing. Now, if I just show you one more, and this is something that a lot of people, I'm just going to create a basic document. And I, this is kind of the tip of the day, if you like. What we normally have is if you start using it like from here, it's all formatted for you. So I think I've still got some text on my copy board. So if I do that, yeah, it's all formatted for you in a normal uh, word processing document. And I can add this line spacing between that because that makes it a little bit better. And of course, you can just, I can show the rulers. So uh, view, and if I'm going to show rulers, my rulers, show rulers. So I can actually then change the, um, sorry, change the, the margins on here quite simply. And you've got all the normal like stuff like that. So you can do every, everything that a word processor does. That's great. But what I generally do is I would switch this to convert to page layout. Um, now, the reason being is now if I want to start typing, I have to use a text box, which most people would say is going to be really, really annoying and maybe. Uh, so I can put my text in there. Let's make that big enough. Um, but what it enables me to do is, and again, you're probably going to tell me that Windows can do this and I'm sure it can, but sorry, Word can do this, which I'm sure it does. But um, what I can do then is I can add images in here and uh, I haven't got any images available. So let me just go to my website and I'm just going to steal an image from my website so I can show you. So yeah, let's just steal this one. I'm going to drag that to my desktop. And I have no idea where I am now. So this is the untitled one. So I'm going to bring that back over there. Makes things a lot simpler. Let's just drag this in. So, oops, I didn't want to do it like that. Uh, I want to drag this into my document here to so just put it there. Now, what I can do is if I wanted to make this smaller, um, I can use this for a lot of design stuff that I'm doing. So it just fits in nicely like that. And maybe I want to make that to the oops. I, I want to make this direct to there. Yeah. And you can see the guidelines will come in. It's very much like Adobe um, stuff and I can do things like that. And if I was Let's edit the mask on this. Let's just drag this out to over here like that done. And I can actually bring this up here and you just get the balance right. Um, <clears throat> if I drag this like this and maybe there you go. So you can actually create some nice little effects in here and all sorts of little things that you can want to do. I may want to add in uh, columns. So let's make that into two columns. And you can do all sorts of wonderful things. And I just love the way you can do that in pages. So that's kind of like your bonus tip. You can do all sorts of things with it. OK, so that's really what I wanted to show you with my pages. I hope you found this one quite useful. If there's any questions you have about pages, I'm not an expert in by any way. But if you do want to ask me any questions about it, then please don't feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this episode. I wish you all a very, very productive week.